Okay, so before I lived with cats, I honestly didn't know that much about them besides, you know, hair getting everywhere. But hanging out with these two has been teaching me a lot. So I figured I'd give them a showcase. Um, first up, there's Dinah. She's the older one and the more sociable one. She enjoys short excursions out on the balcony to get a whiff of the air, fresh air. Um, sometimes, you know, you want to look down and see what's going on. Great place to hang out, get a sunbathe going on. You know, it's a nice chill spot, you know, as long as it's not too loud. Sometimes there's trucks. Uh, she solidly fits the archetype of the curious cat, the one more likely to misbehave, get in trouble. She's more vocal than the other one. You know, she's also down to always be the center of everybody's focus. She never turns down attention. You know, it's just kind of how she is. Needy and needing all the time, opposed to Debbie, the other cat, um, who keeps more to herself, um, usually. So she's fine chilling by herself in a quiet spot most of the time, and uh, I can respect that. You know, unlike Dinah, she doesn't really say much as long as her food and water bowl is full. It's not that Debbie thinks she's better than everyone. It's, it's more that she finds you boring and generally uninteresting and irrelevant to her life. Um, she's perfectly fine playing by herself rather than socializing. But that doesn't mean she doesn't ever want attention. Um, and it's kind of interesting, like, the way these two personalities, these two cats' personalities clash uh, makes for an interesting dynamic. Like, for instance, Dinah will position herself where she knows somebody is, like, where people are. So she's sure to get attention. So, like, she'll show up, like, right, right after a shower in front of you. So, like, right there in front of Debbie. And she makes, like, a big deal out of it. Like, like all flopping around and 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 look debbie sees that and like i said she's chill so she doesn't really care that much um usually but dinah does it all the time she get on top of the couch like debbie can see her right in the middle of the spot and that's a perfect spot to get attention you know and dinah knows that like she you see that like she makes a big deal out of it and it can build the tension up and you can and you can watch it like like they'll compete over space they'll like stare each other down like it gets you can these two cats like beefing for no reason really and it can just be like a perfectly ordinary day and then it just like escalates into just acting crazy they have these quick fights on the dominance or whatever they get started by whoever gets mad first they don't last long so i guess they settle pretty quick but the skirmishes are pretty good theater if you catch it they also spend a lot of time getting along as well, so there's balance, just like any other familiar relationship. You know, they'll sit together and groom each other, and that's admirable, even though Debbie can sometimes get annoyed with all the energy Dinah brings to the table. They take turns drinking out of the faucet in the tub. Not sure when that started. Apparently, it tastes way better than the water they get in the bowl. I had no idea. I know I set up the video making Debbie look like the grumpy one, but she actually can be pretty affectionate if you catch her when Dinah isn't around. She just pretends to be mean. Compared to dogs, I'd say cats are more subtle and nuanced, I think. A little more independent and low maintenance. All in all, pretty good pets. There you go. I got a few requests. People wanting a video about the cat, so there you go. Appreciate you watching. I got more videos coming soon. Right. I've heard some corner birds who tried to sing. Look, cat's the only cat who knows how to swing. Who wants to dick?